All right, so today we're on a New Mexico BLM property. I uh, just happened on this on Google Earth. It is a super duper cool site. Probably the most complete mining uh, little camp that I've found here in New Mexico. Um, but so we'll go through this thing. Uh, there's a lot here to to do. This might be a two part episode. Not sure. We'll just see how much there is. But uh, here's an old car here. We got a dozer over here. Heck yeah. That thing looks all intact. We'll do a walk around of it here. Pretty cool, huh? That thing might even fire up with some ether and some batteries. Pretty cool, though. We got all kinds of iron and stuff laying on the grounds out here. I don't know how far this mine digs back, but uh, this metal here looks like it's like... Uh, I've uh, been uh, rivet, rivet welding, I think they call it, and that's that goes way back. So, there's no tank that they either held water or something, and it's riveted too. So it's pretty old. I don't know what they used it for, but they have hauled water in it or something of that sort. That's kind of a look around. My wife, that my beautiful wife down there looking at the cool stuff. She went down there to check that old car out. Okay. Now let's come back up here. We're gonna have to watch for rattlesnakes because it is definitely rattlesnake type weather. I don't know if there's anything in these little houses. We'll see. I don't even think we can get into them to be honest. I think they're partially boarded up. Let's see what we can see. Looks like they're pretty thrashed, but it's a cool looking site anyway. So we can go get to there. Yeah. We'll walk around here and see if there's any way to get in. I'll be able to get in there. We'll try it. Let's look around here real fast. Wow, there's an old fuel pump. 
that's really cool look at this thick steel here looks like an old shell but it had the light on top very cool it looks like a BLM's been out here cap that mine off there got some water tanks up top We'll see if we can get in this old building. We got some oil tanks. Ooh. Looks like this was a little workshop area. some kind of chemical in there that we probably don't want nothing to do with and just a bunch of trash and we're gonna walk through all that but nevertheless pretty cool and I don't know what's in that bottle some kind of chemical that I don't want nothing to do with probably and a bunch of stuff in here that yeah I have no clue so Yep. Old barrels looks like they just set them in here, but I know, you know, it's, they're not, but uh, this old building's fared pretty good, actually. But, uh, yeah, we'll shut it back up here. There we go. That's not, that way it's not flopping in the wind. So uh, we moved on down to the next cabin and you can see we were right up there and this one here my wife says there's furniture inside of this one so we'll go check it out. Oh wow. Dang. So you see there's a bed and a table in this one. Pretty cool, huh? And then we got over here, looks like they, I don't know, had a barbecue inside of here. You got me. Look at that cool old door. <laughs> I know, that's you. Wasn't nobody getting through that, huh? Was this just open? Yeah. Huh. That's kind of sad that that was open because I don't know, somebody been partying. There's like empty boxes of Keystone. Oh, that's a cool fridge. Sink. They had water at once. Oh, it's picking it up good. Oh. The camera is. It's well, it's. For my eyes, yeah, see. no, I know. I should have grabbed the headlamp. I, I should have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this room here we can't even see, and it looks like there's a sawhorse and stuff. I probably need to go grab my headlamp, like my wife says. beds that they've wrapped in plastic like they were going to come back huh very interesting you never know some of these might be so illegal <laughs> coming here so yeah yeah so somebody yeah so, and somebody has just literally they have crashed in here and drunk a lot of beer that's it's been there a while but 
somebody probably maybe a couple three years ago has definitely been in here it looks pretty good size the cabin it's bigger inside than it looks on the outside yeah. Go back and do it right. Yeah. It's a cute little cabin. Yeah. Actually, I do have a light on this. I should have somewhere. Maybe the. Maybe I have to close it out to get to the light. Let's see. Also, take your trash bags with you. Yeah, people, if you go to these places, I don't know who did this, but definitely wasn't the last owners. Uh, somebody has just come in here and kind of trashed things. Tip the, why would you tip the refrigerator over? I mean, come on, people. I mean, why would you do that, you know? Oh, now that's sketch. Yeah, I'm not opening it to find out either. But there's just, people have come in here and just thrashed this. Uh, it could be worse, but um, it's it's really sad that people have to do that. Come in here, come to these places. That's why I'm not going to let this out. I'm not going to tell where it's at because, it, you know, somebody's already kind of did some damage, and that's that's not good. So we, you know, when we find these gems, we want to keep them like that so other people can enjoy them too. So, yeah, and I don't know about people anymore, but... All right, we'll, we'll find some more stuff here. Let's see if it'll... Come on. No, it didn't. Okay. All right, we're going to walk up to the next uh, few cabins. See if there's anything uh, left to go into here. Or, or what? But uh, it's kind of a cool setting out here. It's pretty. It's pretty warm this day. At least there's a breeze. It's a pretty good size mining camp. Evidently, they had quite a thing going. Yeah, whatever you do. There's a lot of bottles of clear liquid that could be something bad. Do not touch it. And I know you probably already knew that, but don't drink it. Don't even move it. Don't bump it. Don't, don't do it. Because <laughs> it is hard to say what's in it. Let's come up to this one. It looks like these are pretty thrashed. This one is anyway. <clears throat> a bottle dump. I'm guessing these bottles look a lot like 70s stuff, huh? Syrup bottles? <laughs> yep. Not sure. Let's see if we can get a look up in here. There's kind of a look inside. This one's quite a shambles here. Looks like the face come off of it. Oops. There is that little one. Yeah. Been here for a while. Yeah. All right, that was that one. I don't know. Maybe I should walk around to that end over there. Then we'll walk over there. Say it's open on this side, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we can shine 
Let me get some film inside. I don't know. Yeah, I walked through here. Can dump. Look at all those Prince Albert cans. All over. That's cool. <laughs> all right, let's see what's in here. Loads and loads of magazines. Colorado honey. Yeah, I'm not going to find out. <laughs> There's some MJ, the MJB coffee right over there. That's like a perfect specimen, too. You usually find those and they're all rusted up. Oh my gosh, what did they use those all for? What? What? No, I mean, like, why did they keep them? Tons of magazines. Yep, we're not going to look and see what they are because they're probably not family appropriate. I know, I've seen that. That's cool. Yep. The baby food thing's funny anymore. They, uh, They've really changed the baby food process. All right. Climb through here without getting bit by a rattlesnake. That'd be good. All right, we'll get back to you when we get ready to go to the next one. All right, on to the next one. Did you hear somebody? Yeah. Where? Okay. Sounded like something fell. I heard a voice too. Oh, I didn't hear I don't know if I heard a fly and it sounded like a voice or. Yeah, 10. Yeah, like Somebody has been up here just real recent because uh, they spun out back there and that's fresh. It's like cotton still. Almost looks like white sand. Yeah. It's a pretty good size flat out there. Let's see. Wow, look at all those old chairs. Those are like old diner chairs or something, aren't they? A microwave, so that's an old microwave, but I'm guessing 90s or 80s. Somebody was in here. Let's see if we can get around here. Sorry, guys. This is a show around the room. There's a lot of rat traps, so we got to be careful not to stir too much of this up. Looks like rolls of linoleum, and those are bee boxes right there. Okay. Somebody liked their Keystone light. It's everywhere.
All right, coming out. I guess I didn't hear nobody. I I thought I did, but Okay, we'll go up to the mill next up there. There's a shed that we haven't gone through either, so we'll get up there and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna walk down to this little shed, see what's down here. Hopefully I got stuck my bees. A little sardine can down there. What kind of piece of machinery we got here? Well, whatever it was, ran on rails. Not sure if it was some kind of, well, it's got a winch on it system for something do not know there's a thing of kerosene down there on the floor so i don't know what this is somebody can tell me there is a big winch on it and it's got like a tray to convey something i'm not sure yeah don't know Pretty cool. Old batteries down there. Some of this stuff looks like 90s. So maybe they were working this in the 90s somewhere. Don't know. All right. I think we're going to go on over to the, what I think is the mill site. Not sure. We're going to check it out. All right. Well, we skipped the big building for a little bit because there was a bee problem <laughs> they were swarming there's like 15 or 20 of them things around the truck so we went on up to, to this hill and we found a dynamite shack so we'll see what this old dynamite shack looks like inside turn on some light huh Not much in here at all. You can tell there's a wood floor underneath this though. A cold steel door, heavy duty steel door. Mama's telling me my light's still on. <laughs> Cool looking old dynamite shack though. Let's see. I think the old bees are just, I don't know. That was bizarre. What do we got over here? Old frame to something. Still got the brake shoes on. Not sure what that's to. Pretty cool though. It looks like there's some mine way up there. All right. Well, we're going to try to attempt to maybe go down back below. All right. We're going to try this filming this uh, old mill site here. Hopefully we don't get stung by bees. The bees have been an issue today. A big issue. Look at this big old winch here, man. There's all kinds of cool stuff.
what's it say here? Webster Camp and Lane, I guess, Moore Company, Akron, Ohio. 1876 to 1881. That's pretty cool. That's old, old, old. Well, the patent is anyway. So what do we got over here, guys? Let's go look. quite sure what this is almost looks like it was some kind of well it's got round rollers inside of it hmm wonder if this wasn't some kind of uh, ore processing unit because it looks like there's a hopper on top where you poured the material in and uh, maybe a ball mill of some kind. I am not real educated in that, so somebody might be able to tell me, but uh, almost looks like what it is. Well, Whatever they did, it looks like it dumped in and twisted the material in and crunched it and smashed it that way. Maybe somebody out there knows what this one's called. I'm not sure. First time I've seen one like this. It's got a big wheel on it, though. Got another winch over here. All these are still spooled up. And this is a steam winch, like the one I seen in Tombstone. Very, very cool. And see how it worked. You had these pistons right here that drove that shaft round and round, and then in turn turned your winch wheel. It was dual piston. You can see the brake. See the wood they used? That would be your brake to stop the winch. It had like an abrasive pad on it or some kind you can see. And big old gears here, two-piece gear set that fit would fit together. You can see that those ends would have went into this end. That is a huge heavy-duty gear. Do not know what they were running there. Here's another cool little piece of equipment. Centron, Homer City PA. Not quite sure. Looks like another crusher of some kind. I don't know if it's a jaw crusher or what. Or I may be completely wrong on what that was, but and we got this big hunk of steel here. And I think this is a trommel. kind of see inside of it guys the turtle would have went in one of these sides here and then uh, come out the other side it is a trouble or a kiln of some kind I'm not sure maybe a kiln
but I think trommel looks like it come through this cone over here probably had a certain size of hole I am not sure they could have been cooking something here like some phos phosphate material to like, could, like I said could have been a, a kiln of some kind look at those big lifting eyes all right let's see what's in this old building over here We'll get that in just a second.